Hello, this is Marvin Salcedo here with Salcedo Lawn and I uh, wanted to make a quick video to show you uh, how we as lawn maintenance professionals trim crepe myrtles. Now a lot of people come through and they crepe murder and uh, we should not crepe murder because crepe lives matter. And uh, what the proper way uh, that we have found to trim crepe myrtles is you don't just come through and hack them off straight across. Uh, because that, as, as you've probably seen a lot of places around town, that creates those big knots and those big balls at the end of the, or at the tops of the crepe myrtles. And uh, doesn't really give you a real nice, healthy looking crepe myrtle. Uh, what we do, and as you can see that Benny's doing right here, is uh, we come through and we cut any of the, any of the branches that are like about smaller than the width of your pinky. Uh, we go through and we trim them off uh, and then we're going to come through and any of these branches up here that are pointing towards the house, uh, we're going to take those off and remove them and that allows the crepe myrtle to grow up and uh, be nice and strong and healthy. Uh, so, so just remember if, if when you come through and you trim your crepe myrtles uh, to take anything that's smaller than the width of your pinky. It's a little more time consuming to do it this way, but in the end, it'll give you a much better, cleaner result. Uh, another thing that we're gonna do is, uh, you can see we've got a, a small gimp little branch right here that didn't do anything after we trimmed it last year. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this branch completely uh, because it's not doing anything at all. So uh, in the end, uh, we're gonna have a much nice, uh, nicer, cleaner, uh, crank myrtle and I'll take some after pictures uh, to show you what they look like. So remember anything smaller than the width of your pinky, uh, any branches that are crossing, go ahead and take those out because they're, they're not going to produce or they're going to end up uh, creating some knots from where they're rubbing back and forth. Uh, and I think you'll be happier uh, with the end result. So thank you all so much and y'all have a wonderful day.